Have you ever wanted to display aerial imagery along with your project data? However, the aerial imagery that you possessed was out of date. Or perhaps you simply had no aerial coverage for your project site. Wouldn't it be useful if you could simply locate a source where you could obtain up-to-date aerial imagery that was geospatially accurate? What if I told you it was for free? Well, the MicroStation Connect Edition now simplifies the use of Bing Maps data for connected users, that is, users that have signed in from the connection client. For such users, there is a new, simplified method for displaying Bing Map imagery. So here we are in the MicroStation Connect Edition. There are two prerequisites in order to utilize Bing Maps as a background map feature. As mentioned, the first is that you need to be signed in through the connection client. And second, that the active model has a geographic coordinate system attached. Once those have been met, you can set the background maps from the View Attributes dialog in the Background Maps section. The background map type allows you to select the type of background map to be displayed. Options are none, street map, aerial, and hybrid. The background map settings are saved to the view undo buffer so the view previous and view next tools work with the maps. The background map settings are saved to save views and applied when a save view is applied. For information on general rights and restrictions for printing Microsoft Bing Maps, please visit the following website. So now, you'll never need to worry about if you have aerial mapping coverage for your project site, or that the aerial mapping that you do have is up to date. With the MicroStation Connect Edition, all you need to do is make sure that you're signed in, that you have the correct geo-coordinate system assigned to your model, and you're ready to stream Bing Maps imagery as a background map. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.